Okay, so there's a section of peak rod that I, uh, I've, I'm holding in this destructible piece of wood kind of clamp. Um, so I drilled a 5 8 inch uh, hole with a Forstner bit to put that in. Um, this is where I'm going to cut uh, flats on the side so that I can basically make a uh, peak bar out of rod. Um, I put it was spinning around when I put it in, so I put in blue tack holding that, hoping that would hold it in place. It seems pretty fluid, so I'm hoping that when cutting, it doesn't spin around or anything, um, or come out the bottom because I made the hole all the way through. But we'll see. Exactly what I was worried happened. What was going to happen happened. Uh, I cut that side fine, and then when I turned it around, I tried cutting it, and then. Uh, this went to the side a little bit, so I figured, no, 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 I have to cut through wood again, so I turned it back, made the second cut, and then that time it kind of turned in the, in the hole, and I didn't notice it, and it dug that second one diagonally, and that kills me. Uh, by the way, it's not a good idea to use chop saws with wood. <laughs> uh, I learned this a while ago. Um, it causes unbelievable smoke. Uh, the first time I did it, it caused my kids... Um, to hear the fire alarm and panic, and I had to go upstairs and tell everybody, I've contained it, I know what it is, it's that one piece of wood, that thing's on fire. Uh, it sucks. Peak is not cheap. I don't like having wasted that. It's all burnt anyway, from that cutting. Maybe I'll just cut it with a handsaw. Oh well. Take two. Uh, this time I'm using a, a saw blade. Uh, which I'm being unbelievably super careful about. Uh, it did cut through wood perfectly, um, but I'm still being super careful about in this device. Um, so hopefully that lines up with that notch, and it doesn't move too much when I move over and do the second cut. Or maybe I'll do a little bit of a cut, move over, do a second cut, and then, I don't know, we'll see. First cut went well. Let's see how well the second goes. Let's see if it's hot or not. There you go. That is what I was going for. Nice. Uh, the description for how to do this was on the uh, alternate, no, extruder nozzle variations page on the RepRap forum. Under Adrian's geared extruder nozzle, there's a link from that. Um, this is instead of crowdsourcing bars of peak, which is really tough to do, this is taking um, a rod of it and making it flat. And I'll be using this, I'll drill holes in that now, and this will be the support for the uh, nozzle. Awesome.